All right, guys, here we are. We're on the exterior. We're only gonna paint the front, though, the front and then some of the fascias. Uh, but I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up. We got our power washer. We got our hose. We got our power washer wand. We bring all our own supplies. We don't never use the customer's products or house or you know their hoses or anything like that. We bring our own products. Uh, a lot of times you'll see people borrow the uh, homeowner's hose and then they break it or you know what I mean? So you always bring your own products. But anyway, we're gonna get this washed. Indy, can you close that garage door please? So we're gonna get this washed and we're gonna get this taken care of. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how, how it's done. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got into a phone call. Let's get this. Okay, so hold on a minute. Let's let's stop right there. That's a good stopping point. Okay, so you see me power washing. Okay, here's a couple pointers. And this is for people that are going to power wash their own home. You always want to start from the highest point. Okay, you're going to wash and you're going to come down. Okay, and this is the reason why. is because you want to follow the dirt down. You don't want to start up and then go start on the bottom and go up. Because all you're doing is getting it wet down here. And then when you get to the top, all the dirt is just falling down. So always start from the highest point and come down, okay? Anytime there's a lip, like, so this siding, it goes like this and down, this, down. You wanna get that lip, make sure you get the dust off that because what that will do, that's gonna stop you from having a good bonding point when you, when you paint, okay? The other thing is, you might just see me kind of rinsing off the, uh, rinsing off the siding here. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because this is brand new siding. It was just put on, so it doesn't really have anything stuck to it. So I'm just rinsing that off. The, the real focal point is going to be the gray stuff that's been there for years, and it really got a lot of dirt sitting on it, you know, dust from driving cars driving by. So you want to really wash that down, okay? Um, as you're power washing, you want to stay about, I don't know, 8 to 15 inches away from the wall at all times. You don't want to get too close because you could damage the siding or the stucco or whatever it is that you... So stay about you know, eight inches to about 15 inches away from the wall. Okay, uh, what else? So yeah, there you go. And, and and then make sure when you power wash them, as you can see on me on that ladder, I turned around and I power washed the back edge of that fascia because that se seems to get really dirty sometimes. And when you go up and paint, you don't want to have a bunch of dirt in there and it's just going to fail. You want this paint job to last, okay? so. There you go. So I'm going to just keep moving across. I'm going to get all these cobwebs off 
And uh, we're gonna make sure also you always close all your windows. Go through, make sure all the windows are closed. Um, and then there's vents. There's, uh, there's gonna be vents on the side of the house. So the power washer, once it hits the wall, it becomes kind of mist. You can get pretty close up to that, but do not shoot into those vents. And the reason why is because those vents go straight into the attic. Okay, if you get a lot of water in there, it's gonna fall down inside the ceiling in the house and it's gonna destroy the, uh, the drywall. And then you got a hole repair and that shit's gonna be a bad situation, okay? All right, uh, here we go. Let's, go. let's get going. All the other thing I wanna tell you is if you wanna get some, uh, some power wash or some water boots, I just went to Costco, man. They got some great water boots over there. I just bought these. And look, check this out, man. For 20 bucks, dude. These are great. My, yeah, these these are amazing. 50, or 20, 25, or 25 bucks or something like that. 20, 25, Also, if there's any husbands power washing uh, their house for their wife, be advised, man. Make sure she signs a contract before you start. Let me tell you something, man. She's not going to pay you when you're done. All right, guys. Back at this old house. That's in painting. Chico's favorite painter. We're getting ready to spray, okay? Got everything scraped, primed, masked. Uh, we're gonna mask all these bushes right now. All we do is put uh, sheets over that, but everything's pretty prepared. Uh, we got a patch right here that we did. Sand that out once it's dry. <clears throat> then we'll come through and we'll blast this thing. Homeowner wants to uh, paint this BMW as well, so we'll do that. We're only painting the face. The eaves right here but not the body there we are also we're gonna uh do something nice every job you do something a little bit nice for the customer and some appreciate it not all but some so here's the uh their letters or their letters their numbers for their address so we'll hit them with a little prime a little uh black paint sharpen them up by the time uh we get done spraying these will be dry Put them back up and they'll be brand new. All right, man. Stay tuned. Look at this beauty, man. I'll have some photos up, some before and after. Check out my YouTube channel, SM Painting Chico on YouTube. This will give you the whole, man, so much detail to this job. But this is a beauty, man. I've done a lot of work in this uh, neighborhood, St. Augustine, Potter. Pick a line, be a mission. I've done so much work in this neighborhood. We're all, all we're doing is uh, the front. So we did these eaves. Got the first coat on, back rolled. Solo bolo, I'm here by myself today. Okay, so did that. Got the front going. Okay, garage door's not gonna be painted. Brand new, she doesn't want it painted. Okay, came across here. Okay, about an hour ago we got done with doing the first coat. I will do the second one coming up soon. Monday I'll come back and I'll trim it all out and make it absolutely beautiful. You don't have to paint your whole house guys to make it beautiful. Just get a little curb appeal.
All right, guys, that's it. All back together. Painted all this. All the way across. Boom, boom. We painted all the all the wood and all the eaves. From that point this way. All the way around the front. It came out really nice. It came out really nice. Repainted the door. The board was never front door was never painted. So I primed it. Sanded it, painted it, came out beautiful. There you have it. Bam, all the way back down there. Another great job, well done. SM Painting, Chico's favorite painter.